Hi everyone, and welcome back. Today, we'll be discussing placenta previa, a pregnancy complication that can cause bleeding and delivery concerns. Whether you're pregnant or supporting someone who is, understanding placenta previa can empower you to navigate this situation. Placenta previa? Explain. Imagine the placenta as a bridge between you and your baby, providing vital nutrients. Ideally, it implants high in the uterus, away from the cervix, the opening to the birth canal. However, in placenta previa, the placenta implants low in the uterus, partially or completely covering the cervix. This can lead to bleeding during pregnancy and delivery. Types of placenta. Previa. There are four main types, each with varying levels of severity. Complete placenta. Previa. The placenta entirely blocks the cervix. Partial placenta. Previa. The placenta partially covers the cervix. Vaginal placenta. Previa. The placenta is close to the edge of the cervix but doesn't cover it. Low-lying placenta. The placenta sits low in the uterus but doesn't necessarily cover the cervix. This may resolve on its own as the uterus grows. Warning signs. The key symptom of placenta previa is painless vaginal bleeding, typically in the second or third trimester. However, not everyone experiences bleeding. Here's why early detection is crucial. Preterm labor. Placenta previa may increase the risk of contractions before 37 weeks. Bleeding. Intercourse, sexual activity can sometimes trigger bleeding. Risk factors, certain factors can increase the chances of placenta previa. Previous placenta, previa. If you've had it before, you're more likely to experience it again. Previous cesarean delivery. Prior C-sections can affect the uterine lining. Multiple pregnancies, carrying twins, triplets, etc can increase the risk. Advanced maternal age, being over 35 can be a factor. Smoking or substance abuse, these habits can impact placental implantation. Diagnosis, getting a clear picture. Hopefully, doctors can usually diagnose placenta previa through ultrasound. There are two main types. Transabdominal ultrasound, a wand placed on your abdomen provides a general view. Vaginal ultrasound, a wand inserted into the vagina offers a more detailed picture. Managing placenta. Previa. The approach depends on the severity and type. Monitoring. Regular ultrasounds are crucial to track the placenta's position. Activity restrictions. Bed rest or limited activity may be recommended in some cases. Avoiding sexual intercourse. Be advised to prevent bleeding. Hospitalization. In cases of heavy bleeding or for close monitoring delivery planning. If the placenta previa persists into the third trimester, cesarean section is often the safest approach. Remember, if you experience any vaginal bleeding during pregnancy, don't hesitate to see your doctor right away. Early diagnosis is key for optimal outcomes for both you and your baby. Outro, calming music fade. Thank you for joining this informative session. Understanding placenta previa empowers you and your healthcare provider to make informed decisions. Remember, this video serves as general knowledge. Always consult your doctor for personalized advice throughout your pregnancy journey. Have questions about placenta previa? Leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more pregnancy health content.